Hey folks, so today I want to compare these two drones. Over here we have the Mini 3 Pro from DJI, a very popular model. Over here we have the new HS360S from Holy Stone. Now both of these drones are sub 250 gram models which means they are able to fly with the fewest amount of restrictions in place. So if you just wanted to purchase a drone and get straight on with the flying without any hassle of registration, then definitely both of these will allow you to do that. Other than the technical capabilities, the main point of difference between these two models is that the Mini 3 Pro is a pro sumo product. It is a very premium drone. However, the HS360S is more oriented towards beginners. It's a more low budget model. So if you want to dabble your toes in the drone hobby to see if it is going to scratch the itch, then yeah, that is where the HS360S is going to excel. Because the Mini 3 Pro is a more premium product, it is just the better drone. There's no two ways about that. But of course, you are going to be paying quite a bit extra for that privilege of having the more capable product. However, all credit to Holy Stone, the HS360S is a huge improvement over some of the drones I've flown with them in the past. The flight capabilities here for the 360S are really well implemented. I have a lot of confidence flying this drone. It is responsive, it hovers well. The GPS technology has clearly been vastly improved and it does work very well. So as I say, if you are a beginner looking to get into the hobby, then you will not have any issues flying the HS360S. It will give you a great idea as to what it means to be a drone pilot. The radio technology has been improved for the 360S. I believe it connects on the five gigahertz band and it allows up to multiple kilometers of line of sight. Obviously that's with very little interference. But also, of course, the Mini 3 Pro is able to exceed this. This uses DJI's OcuSync technology, which allows it on the fly, no pun intended, to automatically switch between the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz bands. You won't even need to know this is happening in order to give you the strongest possible connection. In terms of the camera capabilities, both drones are able to record 4K footage with the DJI Mini 3 Pro recording at up to 4K 60 frames per second and the HS360S recording 4K 20 frames per second maximum. But again, the premium nature of the DJI Mini 3 Pro really shines through here because it has the three axis gimbal, which is lacking on the 360S. That means the footage you are going to be able to capture with the Mini 3 Pro is super stable. You are not going to have any movement in that whatsoever. You are really going to be able to capture the shots that you desire. Whereas with the HS360S, that is just not the case. There is no serious stabilization for the image here taking place at all. The footage is going to be very shaky. It's really intended for fun and it does fulfill that perfectly. The Mini 3 Pro is fun but it can also be used in serious real world situations where you are wanting to take cinematic shots. The controllers are also a little bit different. The Mini 3 Pro here is bundled with the screen controller, which means you do not need to connect a smartphone in order to capture the image of the FPV view. With the 360S, you do need to connect your smartphone in order to get that FPV view image. However, what I would say is that the controller with the 360S has definitely been improved over the previous Holy Stone controllers that I have used. It feels like a more premium controller and it has uh, an internal battery that can be recharged, whereas the previous controllers I've used from Holy Stone did need a constant supply of double A's. The apps for both drones are also perfectly functional. DJI Fly app in particular is regularly updated with new features, but also the app included with the 360S is also very useful and it does allow you to use certain features such as a follow me mode and an orbital mode. But that does lead us to another point in that you do need to be a little bit more careful with the 360S. Being a more budget model drone, it doesn't have any kind of obstacle avoidance, whereas the Mini 3 Pro does. 
Now, the Mini 3 doesn't have universal obstacle avoidance, especially if you are moving the drone side to side laterally. But the Mini 3 Pro does give you that little bit of an additional safety buffer, especially if you are not flying at a higher altitude. And finally, in terms of the battery capabilities, the Mini 3 is supposedly rated for over 30 minutes of flight per battery charge. And in my experience, it's a little less than this, it always is, but it definitely has a superior battery life to the 360S which I tend to get about 15 minutes of flight. All in all, I would say that both models do offer great value for the price points they are offered at. As I said at the start, the Mini 3 Pro is definitely the more premium choice. So if you are happy to spend that additional extra, then definitely you will find this to be the better drone. But if you're not too sure whether drone flying is going to be for you, or if you don't need the premium features offered by the Mini 3 Pro, then the 360S is also a wonderful option. Just a little bit disappointing that there is no kind of image stabilization here whatsoever. So most of the time, much of the footage you are capturing is not really going to be useful outside of capturing some funny shots and some awesome images to show your family and friends. So folks, thank you very much for watching this comparison video. Hopefully it's helped you out. And I'll see you next time.